Hello everyone, you're all welcome to class. This is Female Skills Empowerment Online Training. In today's video, I want to quickly show you how to make a simple laundry bar soap using STPP. I'm sure a lot of people might be wondering what is STPP. The full meaning of STPP is a sodium tripolyphosphate. It is used for the making of liquid soap. So I want to show you in this video, I want to show you that it could also be used for the making of bar soap. In liquid soap, it serves as a water softener. But in bar soap, it could be used to aid the foaming ability of any bar soap. All right. So to do that, I want to start by taking the measurements of the chemicals or the ingredients I'm going to use today. Taking of chemical measurements is very, very important. So with me here, I have my scale for measurements. But if you do not have a scale for measurement, that shouldn't be a problem. I always advise people to take their chemical measurements at the chemical depots or the chemical market. It is advised to always take your chemical measurements and if you desire a good end product. So I'm going to start by taking the measurements of my chemicals. So I will turn it on. This is my STPP. I'm going to measure 100 grams of STPP and dissolve with 100 ml of distilled water. I have my distilled water here. So I have 100 grams here. I'll dissolve it and set it aside. So let me do that. I'll see you in a moment. I'll set it aside. Now I'll also take the measurements of the caustic soda and dissolve it with 250 ml of water. I'm going to use 100 grams of caustic soda as well. Caustic soda is also known as lye. While waiting for the chemical to dissolve, this is my PKO. I'll measure out 500 ml of PKO. This is my calibrated cup. This is a one liter jar. So in here I have 500 ml of PKO. Okay. Now, before we start the full production, let me quickly run down the, the remaining equipment I'm going to use today. 
over here i have my mixing bowl this is what i'm going to use to mix the soap butter to mix everything together i also have my manual whisk i have a turning stick i have a spatula as well so you can choose to use anyone anyone that is suitable for you it's okay for me i prefer using the turning stick and don't forget you are making a bath soap so you also need a mold so over here i have my silicone mold if you do not have a silicone mold or any already made mold you can use any improvised mold over here i also have my improvised mold but in today's production i would like to use my silicone mold and for safety purpose you also need your nose mask and a hand glove over here i have my hand glove and i'll also be using color i want to make white color and uh, color green and lastly i have my fragrance all right so let's get started now i'll go ahead and dissolve the color i'm going to use with a little bit of pko i'm using color green now it's time to start the production so first thing this is my light solution and this is my stpp solution so i'm going to mix the two solutions together and then in goes my pko add the pko into the mixing bowl and gradually stir in the two solution
putting the soap in the mold this is the leftover so we'll come back in the next 6 to 12 hours to unmold it hello everyone welcome back this is our stpp laundry bar soap after a few hours let us unmold it and see what it looks like when unmolding your soap you have to put on your hand glove because the lye is still very fresh without your hand glove it can easily burn your hand so you still have to put on your hand glove so this is our bath soap and this is the remaining one here it came out so nice if you are making it for commercial purpose all you need to do is to multiply the quantity of chemicals by two or three depending on the quantity of soap you want to make and then get a bigger mold such as this and also you can meet a carpenter to make a mold for you and then get a table cutter as you can see the soap came out so nice if you are following the, the right measurements I just gave you yours will come out very fine like this too and if you are following the right measurement as well you don't need hydrometer hydrometer becomes optional So after unmolding it, you still have to leave it for about three to four weeks before you can start using it. Not that you cannot use it the way it is now, but if you are to use it now that is not fully dry, it can easily melt away and also it can hurt your hand. And so you have to allow it to go through the curing process for about two, three weeks to four weeks. So, I would advise you try it out at home and do let me know the outcome in the comments section. This is gotten from just 100 grams of STPP dissolved in 100 ml of water, 100 grams of lye dissolved in 250 ml of water and 500 ml of pko as you can see it looks so nice and it smells nice as well so with this we have come to the end of today's training on how to make a laundry bar soap using stpp thanks for being part of today's class and see you in my next video bye and stay blessed